In this session, I am going to explain about electrolyte concentration cell. It is an electrochemical cell which consists of two same electrodes immersed in same electrolytic solution but having different concentration. So then it is known as electrolyte concentration cell. For example, two zinc electrode immersed in two beakers containing same zinc sulfate solution but having different co concentration. For example, if one of the beaker contains one molar uh, zinc sulfate solution, then the other beaker contains um, other than one molar zinc sulfate solution. Maybe it may be um, 0.1 molar or 0 0.01 molar and so on. So the electrolyte concentration cell consists of two identical electrodes immersed in same electrolytic solution of different concentration. Now let us see the construction of uh, concentration cell. It contains two electrolyte solution having different concentration. One is low and the another one is high, which is immersed with two identical electrodes, that is M. These two electrodes are connected uh, via voltmeter and uh, salt page. Here, the electrode with the lower concentration act as anode because in the uh, dilute solution, metal dissolution will be easier. And hence, the metal rod M will dissolve in the solution by giving electrons. That is nothing but the oxidation. And the electrode with the higher concentration of the electrolyte act as cathode. Because at higher concentration, the precipitation will be easier. Hence, the metal ions present in the solution will take the electrons and uh, reduce to metal form. Hence, uh, reduction will take place. Now, let us see the cell representation. Here, the metal with lower concentration of the electrolyte, that is C1, uh, should be written in the left-hand side. And the electron with the higher concentration, that is C2, should be written in the uh, right-hand side. This is the cell representation of this concentration cell. Now let us see the cell reactions. At anode, the removal of electron will take place. That means the oxidation will take place at anode. And at cathode, the higher concentration of the electrolyte, that is C2, reduced to its metal form by the addition of electrons. So at cathode, the reduction will take place. And at anode, the, the oxidation will take place at lower concentration of the electrolyte, that is at C1. Now let us see the cell potential of the concentration cell. We have the formula E cell is equal to, to E cathode minus E anode. Apply Nernst equation to this equation, then this equation can write written as Nernst equation is E is equal to, to E naught plus 0 0.0591 by N into log concentration of MN plus. Here um, at cathode, we used high concentration, we take it as C2. So uh, E cathode becomes E naught plus 0 0.0591 by N into log C2. Then uh, at anode, we use lower concentration and we take it as C1. Then this expression becomes E naught plus 0 0.0591 by N into log C1 at 298 degree, at 298 Kelvin, where N is number of electrons here. Uh, as uh, both the metals are same, so that the E0 values are also same at here. Here, uh, the plus E0 and the minus E0 get cancelled, then the equation becomes E cell is equal to, to 0 0.0591 by N into log C2 minus 0 0.0591 by N into log C1. Here 0 0.0591 by N is common, take it outside, then log C2 minus log C1. Log X minus log Y is nothing but log X by Y. So log C2 minus log C1 is nothing but log C2 by C1. 
that one only uh, written here that is e cell is equal to 0 0.0591 by n uh, into log c2 by c1 c1 is c2 is uh, high concentration that is at cathode and c1 is low concentration that is at anode so we can also write this expression as e cell is equal to 0 0.0591 by n into log concentration of cathode divided by concentration of anode at 298 kelvin so by using this expression we can uh, determine the E cell of the concentration cell. So overall, we discussed the definition of concentration cell. We also discussed the cell potential of concentration cell at 298 Kelvin.